I guess. Mi casa su casa. Hey. They just wanted to spend some alone time together. It's not that much of a dump. Though, I kind of figured it would be with all the stories I've heard about it. Oh, yeah, I didn't tell you about them, because every time I tell someone about them, everyone rejects coming up here with me, and I didn't want you to do that. This was supposed to be a good weekend. If you really must know, I'll tell you, but let us get settled first, okay? I mean, it could be worse. And at least we're nice and secluded. And no one can find us. So, I kind of figured there wouldn't be any electricity up here. Or at least not much to do, so. I packed ahead for us to have a good time. So we could have a nice, romantic, and intimate evening. So. I'll show you what I brought. First, I brought some essentials. We needed snacks. I brought my favorite. I know they're the best. And then I figured that there'd be no electricity, so... I went ahead and I packed a candle. So that way we'd have some light. To be honest, I was kind of hoping there'd be no electricity. So we could have... a nice candle at night. We still can. Don't worry, I brought a couple of them. And they're slow burn, so. Some matches to light it. I brought a deck of cards, so we could have something to do when we were tired. Hey, I beat you last time, fair and square. Well, someone's feeling competitive. It's okay. I'm willing to kick your butt again. We'll see. And I brought the essentials. Always pack. Exactly. Wouldn't be much of a party without it.
couple glasses for that. And lastly, just because we're in the middle of nowhere and I like to feel safe, brought my pocket knife. So. Yeah, see? I thought I had. <laughs> you really want to know about the stories? I mean, there's not much to talk about. My family doesn't really get into it much. That's kind of why I wanted to come up here. I mean, don't get me wrong. I wanted to spend the nice weekend together that we discussed, but I did have a couple ulterior motives. Yeah, I guess growing up I kept hearing about this cabin, but no one in my family ever visited it. We weren't allowed to come up here and we didn't talk about it or ask questions. I guess it belonged to some distant relative. Yeah, that's like all I know. I did try to do some research and I looked up the town in like like a library database with like some articles and newspapers and stuff and all I could find was I guess like years and years ago there was like some crazy murders that happened here. Yeah, see this is why I didn't want to tell you. I mean it was years ago. It's okay. This place is probably heavily monitored because of that. So I'm not worried at all. Yeah, I mean, we don't even know if it happened here. They just found a woman in the basement and a woman, like, out a few yards in the woods and stuff like that. Yeah, but it was, like, years ago years and years ago. Yeah, I was like, they didn't find really anything here. But I guess this place is like run down and no one's ever lived here since. That's why I was surprised to see that the electricity was still on. But that's also probably why my family never visits and doesn't talk about it. Yeah, I kind of wanted to come up here just to see it myself. At least once in my life, I was curious. Plus, I knew no one would come looking for us here. So we could have all the alone time we want. Yeah. Just you and me. And some much needed privacy. See? It's not that big of a deal. Plus, ooh, spooky ghost stories, right? I knew you'd have some fun with it. So, why don't you say I pour us a couple of shots and... You wanna play a game? Oh, I got you interested in the story. Me too. I've been dying to look around this cabin for years. Wanna see what we can find? Yeah. Sounds good to me. All right.
So, one for you and one for me. Here you go. used to chase her. Okay. So, let's look around and see what we can find. I'm just looking over here. Let me know if you find anything. There's this really old bookcase over here. I think I found something behind these books. Oh yeah, it's like an old box. Oh, it's really heavy. I hope you can tell me a little bit about my family. I've been dying to know which family member lived here, why they did, and what happened. Now it looks like it's made out of some old snakeskin. Oh, it's incredibly dusty. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's locked, but it's pretty old. I wonder if we can crack it open. Let's see if we can just. I think I can get it. Did you find anything yet? No? I got it. There's like nothing in here. How disappointing. Just a bunch of junk. Man, I was really hoping we'd find something to tell me more about my family and their history and why they won't talk about this place. Oh, you found something? Oh my goodness, that thing is ghastly. Where did you find that? In the study under some old papers? Can I see it? Oh my gosh, this thing smells foul. And it feels so gross. What kind of material is that? Look at that, it's like a face. It almost feels like, I don't know, liquid latex or like skin. Oh, shh, 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 shh. I didn't mean that, come on. Don't be so scarable. It's obviously not skin. Though it is ghastly. Probably just like a old book or prop or something some hooligans or trespassers left here to scare people. Ugh, but it is frightening. 
hold on I'll put it back just let's take a look at it I mean it's not every day you find a book like this looks like it's missing some pages It looks like it's in English. Some other kind of language, maybe Hebrew or I don't know, something that uses these symbols. I've never seen these symbols before in a language, though, have you? Hmm. Weird. It almost looks like an Illuminati eye. Ooh. Oh, come on now. Don't be so worried. We're perfectly safe here, and I got my big bad knife, so I'll protect you. You can protect me when you get a little more brave. Just play. Yeah, look, every page has these weird symbols and designs. I'm starting to think it's more like a game book, you know, like those books people buy that have puzzles and you have to decode what the words are from the different symbols. Did you find like maybe like a code sheet? They had like what symbol meant what or... I don't know, like one of those old decoder rings. I mean, it was an old cabin. No? Well, maybe we can go have a look in the study and see what we find. That's my best guess. I bet it's probably just an old game book. Why else would it look so silly? And it just goes on for pages and pages of this stuff. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, did you find anything else in there? Nothing weird or nothing that explained it at all? No? It doesn't have like a company insignia or a back page or a table of contents. So I don't know who made it. Great, my family's just as weird as I thought they were. Wow. I'll put it down for now. Let's keep looking, okay? Maybe we'll find something that explains it a bit more, or something else that can be more useful to us. Hey, don't chicken out on me now. We can stop looking in a second. I just want to take a few more minutes. I mean, after you found that book, there's got to be other more interesting things here. And then we can start spending our night together. Okay? I promise. Pinky promise. Okay. So let's keep looking. Let's see here. So dusty in here though. Let's see here. No, just more books. Oh, look, I found an old tape recorder. Man, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. I'm actually not sure I really know how they work. Looks like it, it's still on, and there's an old tape in here. Let's rewind it and see what kind of music they listen to. If this cabin is as old as my family says, and I think it is, this tape in here has got to be pretty good. Let's find out. 
Now, how do I rewind? Mm, I think it's this button. Ooh, listen to that noise. That's eerie, isn't it? Oh, I feel like everything we're doing scares you. I'm just glad we moved to CDs and now downloadable music. We've come a long way from this ancient technology. Yeah, the tape doesn't have a label on it. I wonder what kind of music it is. Maybe it's something funky. That's a really long tape. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's see what's on it. This is Professor Andrew Michaels, Department of Ancient History. Log entry number two. I believe I have made a significant find in the Castle of Kendar. It's not music. Having journeyed there with my wife Henrietta, oh my, God, this is my, my daughter Annie, and associate professor Ed Gently. It was in the rear chamber of the castle that we stumbled upon something remarkable. Mortorum Demento. The Book of the Dead. My wife and I brought the book this cabin where I could study it undisturbed. It was here that I began the translations. The book speaks of a spiritual presence. A thing of evil that roams the forests and the dark bowers of man's domain. It is through the recitation of the book's passages that this dark spirit is given license to possess the living. Included here are the phonetic pronunciations of those passages. Kunda, Strata, Montos, Ir, Gretz, Guth, Nos, Veratus, Kanda, Amontos, Kanda. Don't panic, don't give me that look. I'm sure everything's going to be... Okay, okay. The power just went out, it's okay, hon. Everything's going to be okay. Remember I packed for this. It has nothing to do with that weird tape. I assure you. It's just a horrible... Weird coincidence. Remember, look around. This is an old, rundown cabin in the middle of nowhere. And the electricity probably went out just because of the wind or the weather. Or just because there's faulty wiring, okay? I'm trying to get the candle lit. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. See? And now we have some light. And we can have a nice romantic evening by the candlelight, okay? Everything's going to be okay. All right? Do you hear that? I'm sure it's not a voice. It's probably just the wind. Okay. Are you playing a prank on me now? Well, I'm not doing it. That one definitely did sound like a voice, though. Shh, shh, shh. It's just 
the wind. All right, that's not funny. You're not doing this? Well, I'm not doing this. How's the tape recorder playing? There's no electricity. Okay, now I'm getting a little worried. Maybe we should pack up and go. It's okay, it's going to be okay. Let's just get out of here, okay? Did you move my knife? You had to have touched it, it's not here anymore. You know what, I'm not gonna let this get to me. It probably just fell on the floor. Let's find it, pack up, and we'll get out of here. It's all going to be okay. Are you sure? 